It's dawn on race day, and the mountains will echo with the thunder of massive horsepower. This week, Corey Snyder in Toxic looks to defend back-to-back -back victories against an elite fleet of monster machines. But can the next generation block his path to victory lane? The checkered flag is up for grabs as the renegades get wild under the West Virginia sun. Next. We are in wild and wonderful West Virginia. Welcome, Renegade Monster Truck fans, to Beckley Motorsports Park this week for more awesome action with the Renegade Monster Truck Tour. Hi again, everyone. I'm Nick Davis along with Matt Isbell. And Matt, last week, Corey Snyder went two for two, kept the checkered flag. But you know everybody's going to be coming after him this week. Everyone's tired of Corey winning. They're like, man, we're sick of you holding on to this flag and always winning these events. And especially Corey last week in that mud show in Clearbrook, Virginia, the night event on a tangent in his freestyle run and the whole event. Corey absolutely deserved that victory, but it's a different weekend here in Beckley, West Virginia. It's a different weekend, and you know what? We're going to get after it. I'm excited. We do have to talk about one thing. Joe Lockhart, a little yeah. upset with some calls that went his way. He's new to the Monster Truck game. Still, he's not a rookie anymore. He's one of the most competitive guys yes. out there on the track, which is good, but he wasn't quite aware of the two and two rule. Yeah, that's the thing. He's not quite aware of that two and two rule, and that's the thing about trucks. Both front tires must touch that ramp and get over. He's like, he's sitting there talking to us, like, I know my front tires were on that ramp. I'm like, Joe, I'm going to tell you right now, you missed that ramp, dude, and you could clear see his date in the video. You know what? Drivers are allowed to say that they met, you know, they got her and whatnot, but it doesn't matter. The track officials call is the final call, and that's what we got with the Renegade Monster Truck Tour. But one thing I will say about Joe, he's so close to the overall. He's either finishing second or third every single time with the overall event championship. I think it's coming this weekend. I think he's getting that overall. But we have another interesting story, Nick. What do you think about CJ Ritu? Hopping in pretty wicked. It's going to be pretty awesome. 14 years old and the very first time he's ever stepped foot in a full-size monster truck. The social media blew up about yes. that in less than five minutes. I can't wait to see how he does. I think he's a trustworthy driver. I know Zane wouldn't have put him in yep. there unless he was. Zane's picked a lot of good people yep. to wheel that truck around. Colton did a great job yep. in it for weeks and weeks. He's not done, by the way. No. He will be back. He will be back. Nothing he's happened. Not. But CJ Ratu, he didn't want to get in there a couple no. weeks ago. Now he seems like he wants to be yep. in that truck. Well, and here's the thing, too. He's got the best teacher. He's got his dad. You know, Zane did not just put CJ in a monster truck and say, hey, go, you're my son. Go and drive. CJ, I've known him since he was four years old. CJ has been around these trucks, worked on these trucks, worked on the ride trucks. He's done it all with these monster trucks, so he knows exactly what he needs to do out on, out on that track. He's got the best crew to fix it. And guess what? If he breaks something, he's going to be out there fixing it to get it back on the track. We're going to see what happens. I'm really, really excited. And dude, we're going to talk about the Road Rippers. they got an awesome track out here today. And guess what? There's no mud. There's no rain at all. Different track conditions for these Road Rippers, and I'm excited to watch them rip up the track. No mud attempt. Absolutely. David Pilichowski coming off a big yeah. win. Michael Cunningham finally got a win the uh, first show there in Clearbrook. Yep. David got a win in the rain, so you know he's got what it takes to get a win on a dry track. Absolutely, and I can't wait for these Renegade Road Rippers to hit up this track here tonight. You know, we're, so much is going to happen here. I'm just excited, ready to get inside and call the action. Nick, what do you say? Absolutely. Before I let you do that, why don't we take a look at our field of trucks? We're going to start off with our first Renegade Monster Truck driver. That's Leon Hostetter, a master of disaster, former Renegade Road Ripper, now tearing it up in a full-size monster truck. And then coming up next, he's a three-time Thunder Nationals Championship truck. And he's piloting here this weekend as Cliff Fallon, the Virginia Giant out of Northern Virginia. Let's see if Cliff can step up his game here this weekend. Finishing second place here on the Renegade Monster Truck Tour lot, but I know he wants to take an overall event championship here this weekend. That's Joe Lockhart and Barely Tame. Our next driver, he's only 14 years old, the son of Zane Ritu, and he's now piloting a full-size monster truck. Used to be a Wanks towing a recovery mini monster truck driver. That is CJ Ritu and Pretty Wicked. 
And then we have our last two Renegade Monster Trucks. It's out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. He's been the overall event champion on this tour. I know he loved to take that checker flag here this afternoon. That is Zayra 2 and Stinger Unleash. And wrapping up the field, he is your current reigning and defending overall event champion from last weekend in Clearbrook, Virginia. That is Toxic's Corey Snyder, and that is your field of trucks. Let's get to the action. Thank you, Matt. We're getting ready for best trick competition to open things up. There you see Andy Ullum talking to the pit area, making sure that that pit lane is clear before we send these monster trucks out. The first machine up in the best trick competition will be Leon Hostetter and Master of Disaster. Looking good with the sky wheelie. Solid donuts to wrap up that best trick run. Four rotations out of that machine. And Leon starting things off very strong. And the Waynes towing and recovery. Master of disaster here in Beckley, West Virginia. Under the sun. Should not have a pretty good score to open up the best trick competition. We'll look. So he had two solid moves. No wasted effort. Short and sweet. Score of six out of ten. To open things up, takes the better half of that run. Up next to be Cliff Fowle out of Fairfax, Virginia, and the legendary Virginia Giant, Keith Black, heavy horsepower. Solid wheel stand to open it up. I think he wanted a little more, but Cliff, been doing a little engine work with this truck. here, bogged down a little bit right there. Awesome donuts. He was getting there into Cyclone territory. Cliff Fowl working the dirt to perfection. Those China tires digging in. I think he wanted a little more out of that wheelie, but as I said, you heard the motor kind of fatten up right when he went into that donut. They've been working out some fuel issues. He and Joe Lockhart on this truck, a score of five. We'll put him in second place for the moment. Speaking of Joe Lockhart, here comes Barely Tame. The Schroeder Torsion Bar's Barely Tame. Joe Lockhart doing the driving out of Oil City, Pennsylvania. And he's gonna start with the donuts. Throwing that West Virginia clay all over the place as he takes the corner off the racing lane. See what Joe has left. He's been working on the two wheel moves, getting better and better each week. The wheel of the barely tame Ford. Richard Midget horsepower in the back of this one. Heads over to the popper ramp. Stands it up there. Joe Lockhart getting barely tame. Trying to turn it up here. We'll see if it was enough to get him into the lead. This might be a pretty close competition. So he'll head back to the pits. We get another look at this. Ripping up the West Virginia soil here at Beckley Motorsports Park. Standing on the nose with a score of seven. Joe Lockhart taking the lead in the Schroeder Torsion Bars Barely Tame and now here's the story out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania second generation driver only 14 years old first time in competition at the wheel of a 66 inch tire 12,000 pound Patrick Chassis monster truck called Pretty Wicked big hit right there nice wheel stand See what he has for his next hit. He's coming all the way around here to the other side. We're getting a good indication right now as to how big this track actually is. Could make things very interesting in freestyle if you don't keep your momentum up. CJ setting up for another wheel stand here. Center track at Beckley Motorsports Park. Beautiful afternoon here in the mountains for some Renegade Monster Truck Tour action. CJ 
ready for hit number two. Not bad for his first time at the wheel. I don't think it's quite what he was hoping for, but that first hit should net him a pretty good score. You can see right there, a lot of hang time carried the front end nicely. Second hit, not quite the hang time. You can see that car right there. Laps underneath the score is six though, not bad. He didn't waste either move. Up next, the Patriarch, number two motorsports plan. Out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed, and he heads right for the popper ramp. Gets the stopping. And he's going to carry that one out all the way over on the hood. Sets it down, a beautiful job. Zane Ritu and the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed. Into the donuts, gonna rip up those race lanes a little more as he just took another big chunk out of the ramp. Nicely done for Zane Ritu in the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed. Ripping up some more soil with those BKTs. And again, opening up with an awesome two-wheel move right there. He gets the stoppy. May have wanted to get into a moonwalk, but he let the thing crawl forward. Carried it out quite a ways before he set it down, and that was worth quite a few points. So the score of eight left just a little bit of room for our next guy, but not much. He's gonna have to go some to knock out the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed, and that is none other than Corey Snyder, the defending champ carrying that checkered flag for the Renegade Monster Truck Tour, Toxic, out of Bethesda, Maryland. Driving the rear end underneath of the truck has become his signature here lately on the Renegade Monster Truck Tour. And this is gonna be one of the last times we see the OG Toxic out of the crowd as he cuts into a donut. Got some people over here on the hill on this side of the track. He's doing it for him. Over here, a nice run. I don't know that it's gonna take the lead, but it was solid. So starting himself off a decent standing to try to hang on to that checkered flag, and you see right there why he has been a solid contender so far in 2021 on the Renegade Monster Truck Tour. The flag getting a little muddy, but it's staying so far on the back of this awesome 40. Went two for two in Virginia last week. A score of six, not gonna take the top spot, but a solid run nonetheless for the big black and green Ford out of Maryland, and here's a look at your event points as of right now. Stinger unleashed on top of the 40 and then barely tame it. Toxic tied at second and third with 35 points. So Corey's still in a decent spot to try to hang on to the checkered flag. Only five points off the top. Master of Disaster and Pretty Wicked in four and five. And then Virginia Giant rounding out the field in the number six spot. Nobody's out of the conversation just yet. There's still plenty of points to be had between racing and freestyle. We're just getting things started, though, here with the Renegade Monster Truck Tour in Beckley, West Virginia. When we come back, the Road Rippers take to the track and Monster Truck Racing. Stay with us.
This place is rocking with renegade monster truck fans under the West Virginia sun. Beckley Motorsports, Bart ready for side-by-side -side monster truck racing. And here's a look at how the bracket works out. Virginia Giant and Master of Disaster, that's your first pairing in round number one. And it'll be a battle of father and son. Stinger Unleashed, the ATI performance product. Stinger Unleashed taking on the Wayne's Towing and Recovery. Pretty wicked. And then Toxic and Barely Tame matching up to round out our first round bracket. There you get a look at the Hemi horsepower, Virginia Giant, the Keith Black Hemi in the back of that machine. He will take on that man right there, Leon Hostetter in the lone Chevrolet, master of disaster. With the Richard Bidget horsepower sitting behind Leon Hostetter out of Palmyra, Pennsylvania. So it's the Old Dominion versus the Keystone State, round number one. Looks like Hostetter caught Cliff sleeping on the starting line. That's good news for him because Cliff's run was actually smoother, although he got out of the hole late. We'll get another look at it right here. Well, he got about a truck length up on it before Cliff even moved. And you'll see right here the Leon bouncing around an awful lot. Had Cliff gotten out of the hole in time, I think Virginia Giant might have had the better of those two runs. But Leon Hostetter getting the jump off the starting line and keeping the advantage all the way to the end. Short ride, but a rough ride here in Beckley, West Virginia. So Master of Disaster moves on to our semifinal round. Take on the winner of this matchup. There's Father Zane Ratu, the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed, taking on his son right there. CJ Ratu and Pretty Wicked, the Wayne's Towing and Recovery 717 Rats. Pretty Wicked, both out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania. 14-year-old C.J. Radu taking on his father. It's got to be a proud nice moment for Zane. Is he? He's definitely going to have to put the pedal to it to try to beat C.J. C.J. is definitely not going to be an easy match for him. He showed a lot of confidence in the best trick. Who will it be? Second matchup of round number one. And C.J. never moves. Now he gets off the starting line. Now you gotta wonder, did he leave it in neutral? Or did he just not see the light? Didn't hear the motor come up, so hopefully it wasn't a mechanical problem. But you can see right there, Zane was gone. Headed on down the track, a nice smooth run out of that right-hand lane. CJ, once he got going, made quick work of that lane right there. It was actually a better run than I think Hostetter had on that side, but the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed was long gone by the time CJ moved our final matchup. What was supposed to be our final matchup here in round number one may not happen. Corey Snyder in Toxic has not left his pit lane. There you see Kevin Rico and Jay Snyder hustle to get a jump box up underneath of that truck. Apparent electrical problems have stalled Corey Snyder there in the pitch. Joe Lockhart on the line that puts Corey on the clock. He's only got about two minutes, I think, right now. Jay may be asking for a little bit more time, but I don't think they're going to give it to him. It looks like Joe Lockhart is going to get a buy run. They're going to go ahead and send Joe on down the track. Smooth ride for Lockhart. He definitely tested the lane. But that is going to hurt Snyder as far as keeping the checkered flag on the back of the black and green Ford out of Bethesda, Maryland. Joe Lockhart with a buy run. Not the way he wanted to get into the semifinals, but he'll take it any way he can get it. There you see how these trucks make it into our semi-final round. Barely Tame with the buy run. He'll either take on Pretty Wicked or Virginia Giant. Neither truck has actually been called in. They're still dealing with problems back there in the pits with both of those trucks, but Stinger Unleashed will be back to take on Master of Disaster. In the meantime, we'll show you highlights from round number one of our Renegade Road Rippers Twisted Metal on the far side. It's Zachary Graybeal in the black Jeep against the young gun Josh Funk who stood it on its nose right there. That allowed Graybeal to get away. The black Jeep Twisted Metal moves on to our semi-final round. You can see Funk coming on there at the end, but it was too little too late. He still made a run out of it though. Now. A guy who won last week, show number one, Michael Cunningham in Loose Nut. Today would not be his day. Richard Kramer inside chick not only made a good run out of it, but Cunningham broke right there coming over that jump. 
Basically a bye run for Richard Kramer in the side chick, the multi-time winner. He's been to the finals and won several times this year. Moves on to the semifinal round here in Beckley, West Virginia. And a torn drive shaft knocks Michael Cunningham out in round number one. Then Wildflower here on the near side of the track. Land down an awesome run against Chris Helm in risky business, but the lightweight rear end would end up being that Rangers undoing on the final leg of the track. You see the washout right there, risky business, and Chris Helm headed to the semifinal round. He will take on the winner of this matchup right here. Last week's winner, David Pilichowski in the Red Ranger flip side, one on a wet track, but today would not be his day as he took on another Multi-time champion on this series, Matt Boyer in Hitchhiker's Ride. You can see Boyer had the lead into the final leg. A little trouble right there. Kilachowski almost was able to catch him, but again, just a little bit too little, too late. We get a look at how we shake down our semi-final round bracket. Twisted Metal Zachary Graybill taking on Richard Kramer in the side chick and XJ versus a Ranger and a pair of XJs. Hitchhiker's Ride, Matt Boyer against Chris Helm in Risky Business. Always wild with our renegade road rippers. Back though, to side-by-side -side monster truck racing. Stinger Unleashed, the ATI performance product Stinger Unleashed getting ready to take on Leon Hostetter in Master of Disaster, the Wayne's Towing and Recovery Master of Disaster. Zane getting himself down into that right-hand lane. He liked the run, he laid down over there and he has to be the favorite on paper. Not only experience, but he's in what I would call the good lane. Every run we've seen over there has looked pretty smooth over here on the side closest to our camera where Leon is. Seems like that first jump is really shooting these guys airborne and they're having to collect the truck in no man's land to get into the final jump and it's really slowing down the runs. We'll see though. First matchup of the semi-final round about to get underway here in Beckley, West Virginia. Stinger unleashed against Master of Disaster. Leon hanging in there, but the front end was bouncing through no man's land. And the win will go to the ATI Performance Products. Stinger unleashed. That right lane, he's made a home over there. Watch the difference in the run. Zane settling down in no man's land. Leon carrying the front end and then landing hard on the left-hand side of the truck. He had to get it woed, headed toward the exit. Luckily, the track camber's up. He was able to shut the truck down in time before he got up there near the wall. Launching off the left-hand side. Both of them kind of went to the outside of the lane, but it was Stinger unleashed. Moving on to our championship race to take on the winner of this surprise matchup. Corey Snyder gets the reprieve when neither Giant or Pretty Wicked could make it back to the starting line. Now Giant should have been the fast loser. He wasn't able to come back. Pretty Wicked was not able to come back. So Snyder, who didn't even make a run in round one, gets the reprieve. It was the only one available. They weren't gonna send Joe for a bye run. Side by side racing after round number one. Barely tame against Toxic. Carries a lead all the way through that run. Barely tame. Moving on to a championship race against Stinger Unleashed. You can see a slight jump for Joe, and he made it stick. Again, a little more hang time off the first jump of that near lane. Hurt Snyder. And Joe Lockhart with about a two and a half truck length lead across the finish line, takes the victory, and heads into our championship round. Take a look at how we got there. Is your bracket barely tame with the bye run when Toxic couldn't fire? Still got to take on Toxic when Toxic came back to take the place of Virginia Giant. Stinger Unleashed knocked off Pretty Wicked. Then went on to take out Master of Disaster who knocked out Virginia Giant in round one. That gives us our barely tame Stinger Unleashed championship race. There you see Zaner 2 in the ATI Performance Products Stinger Unleashed. Joe Lockhart in barely tame pair of Keystone State drivers, one from the more eastern central side of the state, one from western Pennsylvania, and Joe Lockhart made sure he got to the right-hand side of the track. Although I said this was a good lane, look at that, Zane's not gonna let him have it. Joe concedes, Zane says, get out of my way. I'm taking this side of the track. Zane Ratu wants this racing victory. He's already 
won the best trick competition. Can he set himself up for the clean sweep here? Joe Lockhart coming into stage. Looks like he might have been trying to knock the top off of that mound. Maybe get a little lower flight out of him. Joe doesn't care. He'll win out of whatever lane you give him, or he'll try to win anyway. But he's got himself some stiff competition in Zane Radu and Stinger Unleashed. Lockhart versus Ratu. Barely tame versus Stinger Unleashed. Our championship race on the line. Daniel Clark getting the thumbs up. He'll head down center and we'll send him. That was very, very close. It's going to be Stinger Unleashed. Weren't sure from that angle, but... Zane Ratu by a narrow margin picks up the victory. Here we'll actually see him come across the finish line. You can see, watch the difference in the landing. Both of those trucks land so well. But Ratu, using that right lane much to his advantage. I think that track were a little bit longer. Lockhart may have gotten past him. He dove at the finish line. It was a good run. Probably the best run we've seen out of that left-hand lane all day. Lockhart may have done himself a favor doing that dry hop over the roller. Might have knocked the top down a little bit, taking the ridge out of it. And made his flight a little lower. There's your racing champion, Zane Ratu in the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed. Gets himself that much closer to an overall event victory and taking the checkered flag away from Corey Snyder. Closing in on it, Snyder sits in that number four spot, tied with Master of Disaster with 40 points. There you see Zane Ratu up on top with 65, followed by Barely Tame, who's sitting 15 points behind him. And of course, Master of Disaster and Toxic in third and fourth. CJ Ratu and Pretty Wicked with 35 points in fifth. And then Cliff Val and Virginia Giant with 30 points. No one's out of the conversation just yet. There's still 40 points up for grabs, but it's very unlikely that those bottom two are going to be able to jump up and grab that checkered flag. Something catastrophic would have to happen. Hopefully it hasn't because there's a lot of activity in the pits. Here's what's going on right now. Steering issues for Joe Lockhart. He noticed pulling the truck off the track. They're trying to figure out what's going on. He and Kevin Rico taking the steering rams apart to see if that's the problem. This is toxic. The electrical problems continue. Corey Snyder and his father Jay over there while Kevin helps out Joe. And then you saw Zane Ritu and Buddha working on Pretty Wicked, trying to get him back in the action. Freestyle's coming your way. We'll see who's still here when we come back to Beckley. West Virginia bathed in sunshine as the crowd looks on for the Renegade Monster Truck Tour 2021. Taking a break from the Monster Trucks for a moment to get to our semi-final round. The Renegade Road Rippers, there you see Twisted Metal heading to the starting line very quickly. Zachary Graybill taking on Richard Kramer in Side Chick. That's the Blue Ranger that just rolled out. Kramer is taking a few wins on this 2021 tour. Zachary Graybill He's had a very successful run himself, looking for a victory here in Beckley, West Virginia. They're off, Kramer coming out of the hole charging, and he's first to the turn. Very, very quickly into the second leg, back to the outside, and he dusts down our camera location. They got into that last turn just about together, but Kramer able to stretch his legs over the final jump and take the victory, he'll come back in the championship race. As we get another look at that run, watch him come through this corner and just dust everywhere. Really ripping around there and he did the right thing, he got into that corner wide. 
allowed him to make a much quicker turn. Our second matchup in the semifinals on the far side. That is risky business. Chris Helm taking on Hitchhiker's Ride in the near lane. That's Matt Boyer and Helm just sat on the starting line. Again, I don't know if there's any issue with people seeing the staging light or if they're just having trouble getting away. Maybe a mechanical problem. Watch the wide corner. Boyer. Catching a bit of that ramp there, he almost DQ'd himself, but he will make a legal pass. Hitchhiker's Ride by the championship round against Richard Kramer. Inside check. This is the not the first time we've seen this matchup. Here in the 2021 season. Side check once again going to the left side of the track. Hitchhiker's ride on the right side. The grandstand side, furthest from us. Kramer comes up to stage. They get the thumbs up. Daniel Clark heads down middle and they launch. Richard Kramer seems to be the fastest here today. Boyer through the turn much quicker. Kramer trying to make that wide swing again, but he has stopped. A mechanical problem will stall him on the track and Matt Boyer will pick up another victory in Hitchhiker's Ride. The XJ moving on to victory here in Beckley, West Virginia. Making the most of this loose track. Probably the nicest weather we've had all season long. And Matt Boyer wins under the West Virginia sun. Richard Kramer refiring the Ford Ranger, it looks like. And Nate and the skid steer was headed that way, but Kramer will drive right off the track. Not the way he wanted to end his weekend. Here in West Virginia, before we get back to Monster Truck Action, take a look at something you will see each and every time you come out to the Renegade Monster Truck Tour events. These are the Wayne's Towing and Recovery Minis, and you can see they get wild. Here's Leah in pretty wicked. CJ Ratu had been at the wheel of this machine week after week, but Leah, another one of Leon Hostetter's offspring, taking the wheel of that machine. Here comes another of the Ratu family. This is Garrett in the Virginia Giant. And he gave him a thrill, flying over the popper ramp. Fearless young driver, he's another one I cannot wait to see at the wheel of one of the big 66 inch tire, 1500 horsepower, 12,000 pound machines, getting some hang time in the Wayne's Towing and Recovery minis. And then, Peyton, she's had some of the wildest rides we've ever seen in these minis, and she's not about to let up. You see her walking it right there. Getting some hang time, absolutely fearless. One of the Hostetter family, and she's making Papa proud right now, driving the matching machine to his. Leon Hostetter and family doing the Renegade Monster Truck Tour proud out here in Beckley, West Virginia. The crowd, though, is ready for Renegade Monster Truck freestyle, and our first competitor up will be the guy who's right now sitting in sixth, really doesn't have a prayer of taking that checkered flag, but he's going to try. Cliff Fowl in the Virginia Giant, not been having the 2021 he was hoping for, but he said he is ready to cut this big bat, Keith Black, and he loose. He had Joe Lockhart doing some work to get the fuel system right in this Ford-bodied machine, beautiful hand-painted truck out of the state of Virginia. Big hit right there, Cliff, although rear tie rod pops off and that will probably bring the run to an end. And yeah, they're gonna shut him down right there. Cliff Fowle and Virginia Giant off the rough start. That's not what he was looking for. He came out flying too. You saw how much hang time he got off that race lane. He was looking to put on a clinic, but not getting at all what he was hoping for. Another look at it here on our powder coating specialist replay. You can see he was flying, but the rear end did not quite survive the landing, the tie rod popping loose. So he either sheared a bolt or broke a heim. I'm not quite sure which. We should get word here very soon, but you can see as soon as he laid into it, the truck made a right hand turn with those tires going whichever way they want to. They've got a whole nother show to get through here at night, Cliff and Barry taking a look at the back end of that. Oh yeah, he broke a hind for sure. He straightened that thing out. That That's usually an eyelet, a circular eyelet. It's straight as arrow right now. It's not supposed to look that way. Cliff will get it fixed. He'll be back tonight. But right now we're gonna bring CJ Ritu out in pretty wicked. 
his first competitive freestyle and his first time at the wheel of one of these big, bad 12,000 pound full-size monster trucks here on the Renegade Monster Truck Tour. The Wayne's towing and recovery powder coating specialist, 717 wraps, pretty wicked, going after the track with CJ Ritu at the helm. Definitely not afraid of it. He's getting after it right now. now. His momentum will probably pick up the more and more he gets behind the wheel. Right now, he's got his dad in his ear. He's got radio communication. And uh, Zane trying to help get him through this first freestyle. But I guarantee you, CJ has no fear. Just wanting to make sure he doesn't hurt the truck. That's been his main concern was the truck making it through the run. I don't think he's worried about himself. These are some of the safest machines in motorsports. And CJ getting after it, getting some nice hang time there in the pretty wicked Ford here in Beckley. And this should give you a good indication as to how big this facility actually is. It's probably one of the largest floors we've had to work with here on the Renegade Monster Truck Tour in terms of a freestyle course. We tend to get a lot of long race tracks. Kicking up a little dust and clay right here. This track's loose dirt was made for donuts. And again, those rotations will get quicker and tighter the more he does them. CJ Ritu working this track nicely and pretty wicked. Probably looking for a little bit more, but not bad at all considering it's his first time in the truck. Hadn't had to stop and back up. A wild ride right there as he comes down on the rear end. I thought maybe he did some damage, but indeed he did not. Cut now down to the inside. You can see there's some poles and obstructions left to watch on the infield. This does serve as a dirt track and a mud racing facility for much of the year. At Beckley Motorsports Park, it looks like he's headed for the van stack. Big leap up and over, and the truck soaks it up nicely. CJ Ratu getting after the one two. What a save for the first time out. He'll bring it to a stop. That was an awesome first run for the 14-year-old. And we'll get another look at it. You can see, like I said, he wasn't afraid of it. He got some nice hang time over these race lanes. A little bit hard on the right-hand side. May have tweaked the sway bars a little bit. Didn't hurt him any. So he came back, landed on the rear end here. This is where I thought he did some steering damage, but he did not. Just kind of kicked the wheels to one side and then up and over the van stack. You know, Zane's got to be back there. Give him a hand from the cab of the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed. And then this, we thought he was going over here for a second. Circles right around. He clipped that racing roller that was causing all those problems earlier. And CJ Ratu, look at that. Taking the lead here in freestyle. Now, Leon Hostetter, the master of disaster. Gonna try to take that lead away from CJ. Master of disaster, the Wayne's towing and recovery Chevrolet with the Richard Midget horsepower. He cleared the popper ramp going the other way. Could have gotten himself in big trouble doing that. See what he's got, he's going after his six. That was just laid down by CJ Ratu. Big hit over the van stack. Well, that camera location is getting dusted down here today in Beckley. In a little wild there as he goes sideways over the popper ramp. The Wayne's towing and recovery master of disaster. Nice set of donuts right there for Leon Hostetter trying to beat a six. As I said, he could do it. He's had the momentum. That's one thing he's definitely got up on CJ Ritu right now. A little more seat time. Hostetter with another big leap and master of disaster. And he's going to wrap it up right there, short and sweet. And he will indeed take the top spot with a score of seven. Leon Hostetter. The Wayne's Towing and Recovery Master of Disaster will move into the number one spot here in freestyle. We'll see if he can hold it 
because there are three hard charges coming up behind him, including Joe Lockhart in barely time. We'll see him when we come back in just a moment here to Beckley, West Virginia. Don't go anywhere. Looking for quality graphics? Look no further than Bradley Shaw Designs. Specializing in graphic designs for banners, vinyl wraps, posters, promotional items, and more. Bradley Shaw Designs is the exclusive digital graphics partner of the Renegade Monster Truck Tour and Ratu Motorsports. For more info, check out BradleyShawDesigns.com. West Virginia continue with freestyle action. The Schroeder torsion bars barely tame it. Joe Lockhart hits the track and goes right after it, wasting no time. Lockhart, he has a shot to get that checkered flag. He's not been able to put together an entire overall. So far this season, he's been consistent, but he's always been second or third in the final points. We'll see if he can do it here today in Beckley under the sun. Definitely got the momentum, he came out flying out. He's got to keep that up the whole time. Get some nice air right there. The trucks looked good all day long, soaking up the jumps. He had a great best trick as he gets a little out of shape right there. Had to lock it up to avoid the pull. Camber to this track has not caused too much problem. That's the first time we've really seen that as he attacks the backside of that popper rim. down that end zone camera. Kept the center of the track nice and watered, but they did not get much on the outside to get some huge air. So far, the best momentum we've seen almost got himself in trouble right there. There's a little elevation change when you go from the high bank into the infield. He clipped it. Bedside's coming off of the barely tamed Ford as Lockhart works his way around. Heads back down center, and I do believe he's heading for that popper ramp. See if he can get the stop. He's been working on those. Gets better and better each week. Here he goes. Stands it on the nose. Not able to ride it out, but a good effort nonetheless. And that should get him into the number one spot. He's got time for a few more moves before he leaves the track. We give a one final run over the racing lanes and Joe Lockhart in Barely Tame will wrap things up. The driver out of Oil City, Pennsylvania working the track in fine fashion here you get another look at the hang time he had maybe not as much air as a couple of the trucks in front of him but a nice run he had like i said the best momentum this was a nice air shot he's got up and over that popper ramp and again the truck soaked up everything he threw at it and then this two-wheel move toward the end of the freestyle and there you see it joe will take the lead with a score of eight so the schroeder torsion bar is barely tame moves into the number one spot here, the Renegade Monster Truck Tour Freestyle. But right behind him, Patriarch of the Two Motorsports Clan, the ATI Performance Product Stinger unleashed Zane Ratu at the wheel. 
He's a guy, if you lay down a two-wheel move in front of him, he's definitely going to have to come back and better you. And he's already got the speed up as he makes these short corners. Dusted down the pretty wicked Ford. He goes right for the Van Stack. Wasted no time. A nice hit there. Could have got him off into the racing game. Again, almost got himself in trouble. The momentum on each run has gotten better and better. And Zane right now looks like he's at least matching Lockhart move to move. Again, he's kind of making these short cuts around the track, so he's hitting every obstacle he can. And that's going to be to his advantage. He's not spending a lot of time on the outside as he now heads toward the Papa Ram. Gets the stoppy. Going to walk it out. Look at that, the truck pirouettes on the nose. He sets it down. That's got to be enough to take the lead right now. I'm going to say he's going to take over with the run he's laid down so far, but I guarantee you he's not done. ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed headed back to the van stack with a big hit. And they are just hammering that camera location up there with dust and dirt and clay. Body coming off of the Stinger Unleashed machine. He's put it on its top a couple of times this year. Nice wheel stand there, and a couple more hits, and Zane will wrap up this run. Almost got himself in trouble there again. Little elevation changes, throwing these guys for a loop. And that'll be the end of it, a solid run for the ATI Performance Product Stinger Unleashed out of Lancaster. Laying down a shot here in Beckley, and again, up and over the van stack here on the powder coating specialist replay got into those race lanes a little bit every time he went over the van stack could have gotten himself in a lot of trouble but he managed to drive the truck around perfectly the pei shocks and the metal shop chassis soaking up everything he's throwing at it and then again watch this thing pirouette on the nose as he puts it in reverse he's going for the moonwalk he got something else out of it Hit a 90 degree turn and set the rear end down and then this awesome wheelie to close it out. He takes the lead with a score of nine. So they've gone up by one each time a truck has hit the track and there's one more to go and it's the guy who's defending the flag that's hanging from the back of his black and green Ford Super Duty. Corey Snyder with the Stauffer Racing Engine in the back out of Bethesda, Maryland. Second generation driver, his father. And crewman Kevin Rico stand in the back watching to see if indeed he can keep the flag on the back. Right now it does not look like he's going to be able to do that because Ratu has enough points, I believe mathematically, to be unofficially the overall winner. But Snyder is not going to go down without a fight right now. And you'll see he's likely going to cut this thing around this course very quickly and try to hit everything he can as fast as he can. Nice hit right there, and this will probably be the swan song, at least for now, for this Patrick Chassis that they've run, this OG Toxic they've had for so long, and he almost got himself into a little bit of trouble there. Clipped the race lanes. It's hard to see those rollers right now. They were painted at the beginning of the day in chalk, but you can't see them when it gets dusty like this and the paint comes off. Everything down there looks brown, and he heads for the van stack. Big hang time for the Toxic Ford. That's the best hit we've seen over that popper ramp going the other way all day long. We'll see what Snyder's got left. The best momentum we've seen all afternoon.
Snyder wrapping up the run in the Toxic Ford out of Bethesda, Maryland, the Old Line State Super Duty. Closing things up. Maybe the fastest freestyle run we saw all afternoon. The crowd's behind him, but we'll see what the score was. Another look at it on the powder coating specialist replay as he flies over the van stack. He had more momentum by far than anyone else and more ground speed. Solid run, he had the hang time. Didn't get those vertical wheelies we're used to seeing from him, but definitely kept the crowd on their feet and then probably the best move over the vans going this way that we saw. I believe the only other driver to do that was Zane Ritu and Stinger Unleashed and Snyder with that run will take the lead a score of 10 to win the freestyle but the flag is coming off as we look at the final points we're going to send it up to matt isbel thanks nick now let's take a look at the overall event championship standings here of the afternoon event here at beckley west virginia saint ratu and stinger unleashed coming out on top of the almost a perfect event 95 points so close but it did not happen. Finishing up in second place, Joe Lockhart and Barely Tame, always finishing that second or third spot, but hey, a nice finish, 80 points. Corey Snyder and Toxic, a little bit surprised there, finishing in third place with 75 points. Leon Hostetter has been very impressive throughout this competition all season long, a Renegade Monster Truck Tour, finishing fourth place with 70 points. And they're wrapping up the final two Monster Truck drivers here today, Pretty Wicked, CJ Ritu, a great showing for his very first event, 55 points. And then finishing in last place here this weekend is Cliff Val with the Virginia Giant and 45 points. That's how they wrap up here today. Congratulations to our winner, Zane Ritu and Stinger Unleash, your overall event champion. We'll see what he can do at the next event in Beckley, West Virginia. Nick, back up to you in the booth. Thank you, man. It's been an awesome afternoon of action here in Beckley, West Virginia. Our thanks to the staff and crew at Beckley Motorsports Park, the entire Renegade Monster Truck crew, Ritu Motorsports, and everyone who makes these shows possible. We're not done from here in Beckley, West Virginia. More action coming at you from the Roundup, along with highlights from Brookville, Pennsylvania. The next time we join you for full coverage will be in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. You're not going to want to miss that. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.